day 47 on the island. I think I might be going crazy. I think these cliffs might actually be cardboard. So today's theme is a desert island set. It's one that I used for a vacation Bible school this year at the church. And it's actually one of the simplest designs I've ever created. The walls behind me are made of stacked cardboard boxes, uh, layered uh, too deep so that I can duct tape them together if I need to and make it a little bit more sturdy. And then they are laid out in a brick pattern all the way up to the top. And there are literally hundreds of boxes on the actual set that I built for the church. When you first stack up your boxes, you might want to figure out how exactly you want your entire shape to be. At the church, I wanted one bigger slope followed by one kind of smaller slope on the other side. And so I stacked one mountain of boxes a lot higher and one a little bit lower. I also staggered them a little bit so that there would be a little bit of three dimension to the entire set. So there'd be one mountain that was a little bit bigger but a little bit further back and a smaller mountain that was a little bit pushed forward but a little, and also a little bit smaller. After the entire wall has been constructed in whatever kind of mountainous shape I want it to be, then it is then covered with these rolls of postal wrapping paper. They are about 10 feet long each, and when you crumple them up, they make a really cool kind of uh, rock textured pattern. So after I've crumpled it up and made it into kind of this weird kind of um, texture, then I can take it and stack it on top of some boxes. And that gives me the appearance of a textured wall. Um, I have to use quite a number of these to do an entire uh, stage, but I could do smaller pieces like just a rock ledge like this with only maybe one or two pieces of the wrapping paper. Behind me you can also see a waterfall, and that is made entirely of blue streamers with a little bit of white accented just thrown over the top of the um, stage pieces and then rolled back and forth over the entire set until it's completely covered in however much I want it to be. On my set at the church, I had several pieces of greenery around that were just from the church itself. If you can't find um, stage greenery just in whatever location you have, you can buy it at the dollar store, but it's gonna be in minuscule quantities. You might wanna go to a craft store, they would have bigger quantities, but it will cost more to get more of it. If you are actually stuck at a dollar store budget, then you can always, there are a hundred alternatives for what you can use to make just a little bit of green on your, on your stage, even if you can't have it be an actual plant. This is a green vinyl tablecloth, and again, if you just stack a couple boxes up and throw it over, you've got a green bush just with this. and that adds a bit of greenery to your stage as well. You never know what you're gonna find at the dollar store. One of the things that I found when looking for just green kind of things to, to add to the set were these really cool, um, already kind of chipped up pieces of paper. They're called shredded paper all zigzag. And just adding something like this to your stage can also really bring it out a little bit, just sprinkled around. The floor around me is made up of more vinyl tablecloths and kind of an off-white color to make them look like sand. At the church I was able to find some big pieces of canvas that had been drop cloths and I laid those down as well. So when you're building and you're making your sets, look around in the locations that you have. You might find some really cool stuff just in where you are. But if you can't, you can always go back to the dollar store and find something that can get the point across. One of the last things I want to talk about is uh, making sure that your stage is balanced. You want to make sure that everything kind of complements each other. If you've got one side that's stark cliff walls and one that's entirely filled with your uh, waterfall and your greenery, your stage is going to look a little bit unbalanced. You want to make sure that in terms of color and in terms of interest that your entire stage has a little bit all across the board and not all on one side or all on the other side. Thanks for joining me on the Prop Master's Handbook. If you enjoyed this low budget set tutorial, leave me another theme in the comments. See you next time, if I make it off this island.
Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream.